What's up folks, Ethan here at Hunt Ford in Franklin, Kentucky, and today we're gonna take a look at a 2024 F-150 Larry. The only way to get a full chrome grille on the front, you have to get a Lariat. Again, they've taken the color out of these so that there's less differentiation between a blackout package and a standard FX4 truck. It is going to start including this dividing door on all trucks with the bed utility pack. Your black leather here on the inside of this Lariat. It's got a really nice soft leather with kind of a brown stitching. Now this tends to be one of our most popular vehicles here at the dealership. We sell a lot of these Lariats throughout the year. So what I wanted to do is show you all what some of the different changes are from the 23 to the 24 model year, as well as we're gonna take a look at the all new Pro Access Tailgate. This is the first truck that we have gotten from Ford this year with that new feature. And I want to take a quick look at it as well as we'll do a much more in-depth video on it here later down the line. So if y'all haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. So once that Pro Access Tailgate video comes out, you'll be the first one to see it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's different for the 2024 F-150 Lariat. So again, 2024 F-150 Lariat with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. I wanna do this at the start of the video so we can take a look at what all this truck have. First things first, you've got a $75,980 window sticker. So we'll call that 76,000. But over here to the side, you can see what you've got on this truck. So you've got your 502A package. It's gonna give you your B&O Unleashed 14 speaker system, your mobile office package, your partition lockable storage underneath the rear seat, wireless charging pad. So this is going to be your higher end Lariat truck. Now, of course, we've got the 20 inch wheels, wind panel moonroof, FX4 off-road package, and your bed utility package. That's where you're gonna find that Pro Access tailgate. That's a $1,620 option. But I really feel like once people get a look at this tailgate in person and how to use it, I really feel like people are gonna think that it's a much more functional way to do a tailgate. Starting up here at the front, you've got your LED reflector headlights. These are not the projectors that do the bending around the corners. So these are just gonna be your standard LED reflectors. This is the Chrome Lariat grill. A couple people asked if there is an XLT version of this. And so the only way to get a full Chrome grill on the front, you have to get a Lariat. Otherwise it's just going to be this center bar, which is not gonna have that kind of surround that a lot of people are wanting. They did kind of thin out the plastic material in the middle, give a little bit more airflow. But I really like that this bar here in the middle is reminiscent to that change in 2018 where they had that single bar go all the way across. I think it's a good way to tie it in. I think all in all, this chrome setup on the front is really clean looking and will be really popular moving forward. Of course, you've got a chrome bumper down at the bottom with your chrome tow hooks, as well as you've got your LED fog lights. Coming over to the side, these are your 20 inch PVD chrome wheels on the Dynapro AT2 tires. These are from Hankook. Good looking wheel, probably one of the cleaner, simpler looking wheels in the lineup, but they look really good. Of course, the FX4 package is gonna give you a little bit of an upgrade on your suspension. You got a partial chrome running board. This is going to be included in that tailgate or bed utility package. So you've got your chrome mirror cap up here with your 360 camera set up on the side, as well as down here, you can see your chrome running board that's going to be an upgrade from your bed utility package. Also keeping in touch, you've got a chrome door handle and a chrome exhaust tip and your FX4 badge. Again, they've taken the color out of these so that there's less differentiation between a blackout package and a standard FX4 truck. 
just to kind of eliminate one extra step at the factory rather than have to swap out the stickers and decals, you've got them all kind of unified. So this FX4 is going to have a few different things. It's going to give you your integrated skid plates underneath to give you some underbody protection. It comes with a electronic locker on this truck's 355 rear axle, as well as on the inside, it's gonna give you your tray style uh, floor liners, just to give you a little more protection from mud, as well as it is going to give you a few extra features on your drive modes on the interior as well as it's gonna give you your trail control up here at the top. We'll take a look at the interior once we come back around at the driver's seat. But what I wanna talk about is this new rear setup. So we talked about this a little bit that this is the reason that they're getting rid of those bed app appliques, appliques? You tell me what you think it is in the comments. I've said it wrong every time. Anyhow, the bed or the tailgate kind of cover on the back of the F-150 King Ranch and the F-150 Platinum and used to be limited, but that doesn't exist any longer except for on a Raptor. And this is the reason why. Ford is going to start including this dividing door on all trucks with the bed utility package. And it's standard on that King Ranch and above. So let's take a look at how this works. So first things first, you still have your regular power tailgate. You've got your tailgate work surface back here in the back, but it's got a few different changes. You still have a cup holder system here, as well as you've got your place to hold a tablet or an iPad and you've got your kind of ruler set up, but this is going to move your C-clamps over to the center and it's going to get rid of your tailgate step because now, as you can see, it also has the up portion of the tailgate power. But now over here to the left, you can see underneath, you've got a little button very similar to your tailgate, uh, your power tailgate, but you open it and then you have a full opening door. So that's the widest it'll open. It's a little greater than 90 degrees, but this is going to give you access to your tailgate. So this is called the Pro Access Tailgate. As you can see, it truly kind of opens up and what I like about it as a person who is not necessarily the tallest, as some of you have also reminded me, this is going to give you easier access to the bed of the truck. Now you can see that I'm able to access it right up next to the side here, and I can fully reach over here to the uh, power. I've got the ability to reach in here if I need to store any you know, smaller straps. I've got the ability to reach all this you know, right here at level with the truck. If you've got the, you know, tonneau cover, it's going to be really useful. So instead of pulling your tailgate all the way down, you can open this and access it and, you know, put some mulch in here. You can start putting, you know, golf clubs in here, whatever you want. You've got a little bit easier access to this as well as it's just going to make it a lot easier to get in and out. Ford actually reduced the height of this just a little bit. So now this is going to be your step. It's a little bit more comfortable. You can reach up here, you've got a handhold, and now you've got easier access into the back of the truck. So I'm really, really pleased with this in person. You know, it's not the most attractive looking setup. I will 100% grant that, you know, the lines they are symmetrical, it does frame the F-150, but it still kind of has a break in the truck, so it's not the most attractive, but I think that once people see the functionality of this moving forward, they'll be really pleased 
at how this will work for them going forward. Y'all tell me what you think about it in the comments below. All right, coming over to the driver's side. So this has the proximity locks, and I know a lot of people want me to take a look. This truck has a payload capacity of 1,526 pounds. Again, this has the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. This is going to be your black leather here on the inside of this Lariat. It's got a really nice soft leather with kind of a brown stitching and brown accent. It does have heated and cool seats. You can tell by the perforation here or ventilated seats. It's not truly cooled. You've got a 10-way power on the driver's side, a 10-way power or an 8-way power, excuse me, on the passenger side. Because this has the mobile office package, you've got the stowable shifter and you've got your mobile work surface here on the interior. Turns this whole thing into a flat surface to be able to use for either, you know, working on a clipboard, writing some notes, you can put a laptop here, you can put a full size. I've, I've had a 16 inch laptop on one of these, or you can have it as a lunch station. You can have a place to, you know, set down your lunch, your burger, whatever you want to do and eat here at, if you're at a job site. Of course, you've got your 12 inch sync four screen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So we turn the truck on. This is going to show you some of your center console. So this is your center console here. It's got your Sync 4 12 inch touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This has got your connected navigation as well as it's going to give you all of your different features like your zone lighting, your driver's assistance, you, your owner's manual is now going to be included in this. We've had a couple customers ask us, especially once we get into these lariats, you know, we've got some customers who are a little bit older and used to having a physical owner's manual inside the glove boxes. It's not in this truck any longer or any trucks any longer because it's an owner's manual that's built in. You can get it after market from some other companies. We'll be happy to link that for anyone who is interested down in the comments below. This does come with your Pro Trailer Backup Assist. Again, we've never really taken a look too hard at that. I would be interested to learn and see how it does. Your integrated brake controller, as well as you've got your drive modes and your transfer case controls down here at the bottom. This Lariat does come with the 4 Auto, which is gonna kinda act as a little bit more beefy all-wheel drive. It's just gonna put power to whatever wheel is needing it at the time, and then you can put your electronic locker on and truly lock those rear wheels into uh, drive at all times, and then still get traction when you need it. Of course, over here, you've got your adaptive cruise with your lane centering. This has the ability to have blue cruise. It's got a 90-day trial now. It is available for $75 a month or $800 a year or for $2,100 for three years. Blue Cruise is one of those things that a lot of people either really like and use heavily or don't use at all. You know, you kind of decide whether you're going to be one of those customers or not, and it'll be a feature for you to take a look at. Up here is your trail control or your hill descent control. This is gonna be kind of included in that four wheel drive uh, FX4 package. And up here at the front, we'll see if I can zoom in enough. This Lariat's gonna have the heads up display. This is one of those things that was included in the higher trims of the F-150 that's now been brought down to these Lariats. It's really, really useful. I like to set down here in the bottom to adjust to your drive mode so that once you change it, it'll actively change the way that's situated up at the top. It's just a really good feature to be able to kind of take some distraction off of you and let you have your eyes on the road and not have to keep looking kind of around to find what you're needing to do. Over here on the side, you do have your tailgate control. 
Again, you can lower your tailgate and you can raise it back up, as you can see in the back. Oh, well, I was trying to show you. Now underneath this touch screen is you've got all of your physical knobs down here at the bottom. Again, we talk about this kind of ad nauseum. I like having physical touch buttons on trucks. I've been driving an F-150 Lightning for an extended time. I'm actually getting close to doing a 2,000 mile review to talk a little bit about how that experience has been in the uh, you know, western part of Kentucky, a place that's pretty rural, doesn't have many charging options besides the dealership here. So I'm going to do a little bit of an extended review on how, you know, driving a Lightning is in this area. But the thing that I've noticed is that I prefer having physical knobs versus the touchscreen option that's on that F-150 Lightning. So I can truly control my climate control, my volume, you know, the tuning of the radio, Simple things like being able to turn up and down the fan speed just is much easier when you have physical knobs that you can be driving down the road and just intuitively know where it's at. You know, I, I kind of can just look here and know where it's at versus having to actually look over and, you know, navigate a touch screen. But on these physical controls, you've got a heated steering wheel, heated seat, and cooled seat or ventilated seat on both the driver's side and the passenger side here in the front. You do have heated seats here in the back. And underneath here, you've got a USB-C and USB-A charger, as well as a wireless charge pad for any phones that are available to it. For the most part, that's about all that we've got here on the Lariat. We've talked a lot about a 360 camera, and this is going to be standard on the XLT Plus. So we've covered this already for the 2024 model year as well as this truck does have a twin panel moonroof which is going to you know take over the entire ceiling and make it a functional moonroof that's about all i've got for you today folks on this 2024 f-150 lariat as we get a few more in with some different packages and different setups we'll be happy to take a look at it so that's why you should subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell that as we get these trucks and get updates we've got over 100 trucks on our lot right now so if you want to let us know what you'd like to see but as we post those videos you'll be the first one to see them stay tuned for a little more in-depth look at the pro access tailgate we want to show you why we think that this is going to be a really really good option for a lot of customers moving forward thanks for taking the time to watch today's video if you have any questions let us know down in the comments below that's about all i've got y'all take care